Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Latif, and welcome to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast. And this is episode 60. Woohoo! Yes, yeah, 6 0. Wow. So, technically, two months consistent every single day. And, and you know what? I, again, I don't want to treat it like it's a job. It's not like I'm, I'm counting the days. I'm counting. Um, I'm just really happy to be able to really stick with it and I'm actually enjoying it I'm trying to do everything I can to make myself enjoy it more so that way I look forward to doing it and I have you know and this is this is what's important you know I actually look forward to it still no script still no bullet points still I have no idea what the hell I'm going to talk about when I get on it but I just want to talk to you me and you one-on-one. I'm not thinking about 10,000 people. I'm not thinking about a thousand people or a hundred people. Actually, I'm just thinking about one, just one of you. Okay. And I just want to, I just want to, uh, you know, show my appreciation and say, thank you. Um, on another note, uh, anyway, we're, we're, yeah, we're here in Austin, Texas. We got here, uh, a little while ago. Um, I'm, I'm doing the podcast before the show because if I do it after the show, um, it's going to be about four o'clock in the morning and I'm a little scared about just coming here and just falling out. So let me do it before the show. And then tomorrow, God willing, I get home safe and sound. Uh, then I can tell you a little bit about the show if you don't already know it or see what's happening on Facebook. Um, so basically, um, we got up this morning and we all met, you know, well, not really the girls or Caroline and, and Sunshine went to have breakfast in the hotel. I'm not big on breakfast, period, let alone hotel breakfast. You know, unless I'm staying here for a few days, then I might go and see what they have. But, eh, you know, it's not even, it, number one, they're expensive. And it, I, it's not even that they're expensive. It's like, I don't like anything. So I'll pay $100 for a meal if I enjoy it. But I don't want to pay $10 if it's something I, I don't like. I just... Especially if something I gotta eat, you know. So the girls went; they had their 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 little meal, and um, me and Andrew came down right before checkout. And by that time, uh, James Reels, our promoter for the Austin show, uh, once again, guys, it's tonight. Come and take a live. Comes to cocktail, Austin, Texas. Today is February 29th. It's Saturday evening. Um, we're about to get out of here in a little bit to get to the show. Uh, but again, like I said, I just wanted to reach out to you guys and. Um, just uh, give you a shout out. I'll let you know what we were doing. So, uh, James Reels, the promoter, picked us up and um, jumped in the car. We had about a two and a half hour ride. Um, first stop was the bank. I had to get to a bank because I had to wire some money out and I needed to put some cash into one particular ca- account. So, uh, first one, I'm bad with lines. Anybody who knows me knows I can't do lines, man. I'm serious. I can't. Um, I've gone on, on in banks and post offices, and when I'm number three, I had to get out. I just couldn't take it anymore. So um, the first bank was totally, not only were they in lunch, uh, the line was like out the door. So we were able to find another bank, and good thing it was a long line, but they had four tellers, so I was able to move through, and we were able to take care of that um, because those banks uh, closed at 1 o'clock, and at that point, it was already like 12.40. Then Caroline... Uh, she left her magic pillow in the hotel. So I call it magic pillow because um, it's her personal pillow um, that she likes to travel with. So she was saying, no, no, we don't have to go back. We don't have to go back. But we all agreed. Listen, that's your pillow. Let's go back to the hotel. <laughs> we weren't that far, maybe 10 minutes away. We turned around, went back. She got her pillow. She was happy. And um, <clears throat> then we uh, then we took the ride. It was a, it was a very comfortable ride. It was just James. I was in the front with him. It was the three girls in the back. We kicked back. Everybody was just chilling and talking and having a good a good time. Um, 
And then we stopped at this place because uh, me and Andrew didn't eat called Casa Colombia. So uh, food was really good. Um, we, you know, James wanted to take us there. We kind of were like in the mood for Mexican. I'm not going to lie. We're in Texas. We, we kind of want some authentic Mexican food. So, uh, but he was really hyped on taking us to this place. And uh, so we, we said, that's cool. You know, that's cool. You know, we'll probably never eat Colombian food in Texas again, <laughs> you know, but, um, but it was good. And, and, you know, regular typical rice and beans and steak. I'm very typical when I go to a restaurant. I eat the same shit all the time, really. I don't, I go, if it's a diner, I'm eating me a burger and fries. If it's a restaurant, I'll have me like rice and beans and steak with maybe some totones or something like that. <clears throat> so we hung out there, we ate. I had some flung, some coconut flung. That was banging though. I gotta, I gotta give it to them there. The coconut flung was good. Um, and then we uh, got to the hotel, checked in. Um, and then uh, Angel's attorney, though, so Angel had an attorney from back in the days. It was her personal attorney. Um, more so than an attorney, she, he was a really good friend of hers. Uh, they've been friends for so many years. Uh, really nice guy. His name was Jonathan. Jonathan Blank. Um, this guy represented so, so many people in the music business. And uh, um, he's downstairs with her now. They, they, she came. He, he lives in Texas now. So whenever we come out here, I always go down and say hi and hang out for a little bit. But then I want to give them a little time to spend together because she, she really loves him. She always talks great about him. And, you know, she, he was just um, somebody that, you know, during her time when she was in the industry, this is before I was in the business, not before I was in the business, I was in the business, but before I was with her, she really didn't have anyone who had her back, especially men. She had a lot of dudes that were taking advantage, a lot of people in the business, producers and, you know, labels and so on. And he seemed to be like the only one that really had her back. And, you know, she's the type, man. You could do one thing for Angel, one thing, and she'll appreciate it for life. She will never forget about it. She will always bring it up. She will always give praise to it, you know, and... uh I, I love her because of that. You know, I'm 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 the same way. You know, um, what things things that people do for me, um, it means a lot. You know. <coughs> yeah, guys, allergies, man. I don't have the corona, please. <clears throat> Just allergies. I got two bottles of water here. Uh, a lot of traveling, so you know, immune system starts to go low and. So I'm just, but I'm good. I feel, I feel good. So anyway, so yeah, so Angel's down there. I left them down there. They'll be down there for a little while. So I said, you know what? Let me come back up here because we got to get ready real soon. And uh, let me, uh, let me speak with you guys for a bit. So tonight looks like it's going to be a killer night. Last night was the bomb. I actually had a really good time last night. I love the layout of this venue. My God, this thing was really dope, you know? So you know, basically, you walk down the aisle. It's like a movie theater. You know, when you're going to get your popcorn, you walk down the aisle and you get all the way to one of the seats. Well, that's the same thing. You walk down the aisle, it looks just like that. But instead, you walk onto this round stage. And then once you get there and it starts, the music starts, the freaking stage starts to turn. It'll do, it'll go one way like three times and then it'll stop. But what's crazy, it will stop like, like, boom like abruptly you know and then it will go in the opposite direction so the girls said that they felt like they were drunk like everything sound or feel felt we wibble, uh, wobbly angel in particular because of her heels she's got really high heels you know so um but anyway so we knocked that out we're here in austin this is part two on the road um looking forward to it i, I mean i'm no i know i'm dealing with a bomb promoter i've been dealing with him for years never had an issue so i know when it comes to all the, you know, the red tape that him and I have to deal with for the show, uh, no problem on either side. Um, he's really, uh, we, we didn't have the time to do sound check because they want to do a sound check pretty late. So uh, we're definitely not going to be doing the sound check tonight. But he, uh, but for us, CoverGirl sound check is pretty simple. You know, we just got to make sure the mic's up, that the mic's on at the mics work and then when they hit play music comes on so that's all we really gotta we gotta make sure of um uh so i'm not i'm not worried about it uh i always get anxious you know in general so i'm not worried about anything in particular like i could go to a venue and be um you know a little worried about something in particular maybe i'm worried about 
getting paid. You know, not that we're going to lose, not that we're going to go on stage and not get paid. Uh, but it becomes a problem. It's like, you know, the, they're not doing too well, so they're trying to renegotiate. I don't renegotiate on the road, so any promoters uh, who are listening to this know we don't, I don't renegotiate. So now, if, if it's a light crowd and you're going to take a hit and you still pay me and we still go on, I'm going to look out for you. I'm going to look out. We're going to figure something out and I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it up to you. Uh, but if you just plain old want to cancel the show, whatever, when we're here, then that's it. You know, we can't go on. It just doesn't, the business doesn't work like that, you know, for nobody, you know, so uh, we're no different. You know, we love the fans and we always want to do the best we can for the fans, but this is what we do for a living and everything has to be done the right way. Uh, it takes, and it costs us money just to get prepared for a show, uh, just for the girls to get ready and some of them have to take days off. A lot of them have day jobs. There's a lot of artists. They have day jobs. Sometimes they have to get babysitters. Um, they have to get transportation to the airport. They have to eat on the road. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that they have to do, get outfits, get nails done, get hair done. Um, and the older they get, a little bit more work that they need, so a little bit more money it costs, you know? Not like the, the young chicks, man. They basically just, uh, you know, uh, wash and walk, <laughs> you know? Um, but, uh, yeah, so tonight... I'm not worried about it. I think it's going to be cool. We have uh, maybe about three or four guests that we're going to see when we get there, plus a bunch of people that we uh, we see every time we come to Austin, and it's really great seeing them. Uh, I really hope if, if any of you are there tonight, uh, come up, man. Let me know you're listening to this podcast. I can see how the numbers. I can see how many people uh, are listening, but I can't tell who it is. And uh, when I do get someone who comes to me, like yesterday, Miguel was telling me, even what episode we were up. So he knew he knew what the deal was. So, I mean, it feels good uh, when I know people are actually listening uh, to the podcast, you know. So anyway, it's going to be a late show. Uh, probably, shoot, we might be going on at midnight. Might even be a little bit after midnight. I'm not sure. So, but we're going to be prepared either way. I don't know if I'm going to get any rest. Uh, I don't think, I don't have enough time. I have to start getting ready like now. And um, so I know we're not going to eat because we already ate. And uh, and then get over to the, they'll pick us up and we get over to the venue, do what we got to do. And then there'll be some sort of meet and greet. So uh, hopefully that runs smooth and we can take some pictures, some, sign some autographs. Uh, we will be out in this area um, in June. So... I hope you guys don't wait for June. That's actually for Pride San Antonio. Actually, it's not Austin, my bad. <laughs> it's not Austin, it's San Antonio. That's in June. Um, but uh, so we'll be back out. So, you know, I would love to see, you know, all of you guys, man, to come on down and, you know, and it's really cool. It's really cool to, uh, to uh, meet up with everyone. So um, other than that, <coughs> everything else is good. And... Um, that's pretty much it, guys. So tomorrow I have like a one o'clock flight and uh, get back home. And then I'm home for a few weeks, which is good because I have a lot of work to do. Uh, you guys all know, Yes, Yes, Y'all will be released March 27th. Yes, Yes, Y'all will be released March 27th. That's book one, two, and three. So if you want to get the pre-orders, contact me on Facebook. Um and get your get your books now. You'll save. Uh, and you'll basically get all three books for the price of two, and I'll sign them. So that way they'll be worth a lot of money once I'm dead. Okay. So, <coughs> but um, but yeah. So you know. So be on the lookout for that. And then I have a whole bunch of new things that I'm working on. Some new podcast ideas and on the road videos. Uh, I I got some pretty cool footage. Um. Uh, this trip, pretty cool. I think you guys will enjoy it. Make sure you know you check it out. Um, I, I always put it up on YouTube first, and then after YouTube, I'll put it on Facebook and kind of share it around. So make sure you guys check that. So anyway, I'm going to start getting ready, guys. I appreciate you listening in. Um, just stay tuned. I'll be back home, you know, God willing, tomorrow. And I guess I will talk to you then. So until tomorrow. Good night, Freestyle. Before I leave.
lay me down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.